Hello, my name is David Yang. I'm one of the historical interpreters here at the Old Barracks Museum. Today's question comes from a fourth grader who asked what would happen to soldiers if they were badly injured in battle? Well, the answer is they would pretty much immediately stop fighting, either if they were forced to fall to the ground out of pain or passed out, they would basically cease fighting. Uh, those who had been injured might walk themselves back to a hospital, but ultimately everyone who was injured would end up in a hospital. Sometimes this would take hours. Uh, soldiers who had fallen to the ground and could not get up or could pass out would be picked up by whoever claimed the field after the battle was over, at which point soldiers from both sides would be brought to a field hospital. At a field hospital, their wounds would be immediately treated to keep them from getting any worse. So limbs that were too bad, badly injured to be recovered might be removed. If they received a flesh wound, they might have it patched up. But they would be immediately put back together as best as possible, uh, and treated. From there, a few things might happen. If they were well enough to return to their regiments, they might do that. If they were well, but prisoners of war, that is, they were soldiers from the other side, they might be sent to wherever the prisoners were being held, either in prison war camps, or prison hulks, or any other manner of thing. If they were soldiers from the same side, or if they still needed more time to recover, they might then be sent to a general hospital at which point they would stay for as long as they needed to fully recover for them to either return to their regiments, be discharged from the army, or like other prisoners of war, be sent to wherever prisoners of war were being held. The old barracks itself actually functioned as a general hospital after 1777. It had been for a short while used just to do smallpox inoculations, but after that was up, it remained a general hospital until 1782. As a general hospital it treated soldiers that had been wounded in the Battle of Red Bank in 1777. In fact, many of the Hessian wounded ended up here. But it also was used to treat soldiers from as far afield as Yorktown, Virginia after the siege there in October of 1781. So this place had a very important role in answering just that question. We thank you for asking and helping us bring history alive together.